So you go out and enjoy a great spring turkey hunt. I shot this bird uh, this morning. My buddy and I actually killed a double down in Tennessee. Just had a had a heck of a great hunt. That's why you want to go turkey hunting. But you go out, enjoy that hunt, and there's kind of the question of you get home, what do you do with your bird? Obviously, you're going to enjoy it for the table. I mean, the best part of turkey hunting, I think, may be eating them. Wild turkeys are delicious. But, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, a wild turkey is a trophy, and a big gobbler like this is definitely a trophy. But turkey taxidermy gets expensive. You start having a bunch of full body turkey mounts, you're going to quickly run out of wall space, and, uh, and it's going to hurt your pocketbook a little bit. So, you know, the, the alternative, and, and what I've done a lot, I mean, you cut off, the, uh, cut off the beard and the spurs, sometimes the tail fan, you display those. But ultimately, when I've done that, most of the time, they, they just end up rotting away in the garage, and, and I don't do much with them. So, one thing that, that I've kind of started doing on, on birds that are kind of special, just like this one, it was a good double with my buddy, uh, and, and I'd like to remember this turkey. So, something that I like to do is cape them out. And what you're left with is a really pretty display of back feathers and the tail fan. And it's really easy to do. Now you can take it to a taxidermist, have it put on a plaque and really professionally done and, and it's gonna look great. But I've done them myself. Uh, I'm not a professional taxidermist, but it's not hard to do and, and you can really get a nice finished result. So usually I'm gonna go ahead and clean my turkey first, get the breast meat and the legs out of it and uh, get those chilling. But for the purposes of this video, I wanted you to see you know, where I made all the cuts and everything. So I haven't cleaned this turkey yet, but you can do this before or after you get the meat. It's, it's no problem. But I'm just gonna turn the turkey over on his belly. And you can see, looking down this gobbler's flanks, there's a crease on the feathers on either side of his neck, going right down through there, all the way above the wing joints. And it's gonna go all the way down to the base of the fan. And you can really kind of see where those feathers of the, of the turkey's back and his wings meet. And you're just gonna be cutting right along there and, and skinning just very carefully. I like to do this with a, a small, sharp fillet knife. Just pick up the crease of skin on his neck. and get that going. Get a little bit sharper knife than that. I was afraid that one might be kind of dull, so I brought it back up here. A thin blade, though, is, is what you want. As you start to get to where these feathers start spreading across the back, just start cutting down that line either side of it. And these feathers do get kind of jumbled up. It can be kind of hard to tell where you're going, but just keep them kind of bunched back best you can and take your time with it. Now, kind of the last step here in getting this all to work out. Get this skin all the way down here to the joint of the tail. You're gonna see that tail is connected by some tissue and some bone right there. Cutting it off is super simple. It's just like you would cut off a fan any other time. Put a little ball and socket in there. Just kind of be gentle with it. Work all that mess loose. There you have it, very roughly. Turkey cake. So, it's come this far. Obviously, you're gonna clean your bird first. You know, get the meat and stuff out of it. But I'll show you how to season it. All right, so you can kind of see the near finished product here. I've got my turkey meat soaking down in some ice water. It's gonna be ready for the table tonight and finished my cape out. And you know, this cape turned out pretty good. This bird was the, uh, was the second of a double this morning. Not every pellet went right in the head, but it got the job done nonetheless. But the back did have kind of some scuffs on it. And I'm not a professional taxidermist again, so you know, uh, a guy that really knows what he's doing that does this for a living with a scalpel could probably get some cleaner edges. But for the purposes of displaying in your home and, and doing it yourself and saving a lot of money, these things turn out really good. So basically all you gotta do, once you've got that cape skinned off the way I showed you, 
you just uh, you need a flat board this piece of particle board but I've even done them on a piece of cardboard it works just fine and you're just uh, very very careful with this cape this skin is really thin and and you probably punched a hole or two in it while you were skinning it off so you just got to be very careful not to tear it but I lay it out flat I fan my tail fan out and then I just take a slap stapler just like that one right there. You can use a regular staple gun too. And I just put some staples around that tail to keep it fanned out the way I want it. And I stretch my cape up here, put a staple there and a couple on either side of this and it just kind of spreads that skin open so it can dry out. And last step, just take some table salt. Rub it down in that flesh real good. Obviously any chunks of meat or anything on there uh, that, that won't dry out well, you need to cut those off, You know, trim it off the best you can. Rub that table salt in there and then just store it in a you know fairly temperate but above all dry place and, and keep it as dry as you can for you know about two weeks is, is usually when uh, when these things will season out well enough and uh, like I say you, you end up with a product that's uh, it's definitely a cool way to, to remember a special turkey and it, it doesn't cost as much as a as a big expensive turkey mount so uh, that's how to cape a gobbler out all there is to it.